so i hope all of you read the story a wrong man in workers paradise whatever we have discussed in the last period okay so it is not an ordinary paradise but it's a workers paradise in which a wrong man from the place and what happened when a wrong man is placed in workers paradise yes let's quickly revise whatever we have studied in the last period so what does the man do all day long in workers paradise he indulge in mad whims and he made little sculptures of men women and cars and he also painted right and he made quaint earthen things dotted over with sea shells see quaint earthen things it may be a pot or some other idol it may be anything which is made out of clay okay or mud and he also put some sea shells on those earthen things and he painted then in the story when we were reading there was a comparison right between the students or the children or the boys who simply read who rarely study and this context is compared with the wrong man reaching the paradise how seldom boys passing the test is compared with wrong man finding a place in paradise these two things are compared when we were reading the story okay so when we were reading the story we came to know that the wrong man didn't do any useful work whatever he did was needless or useless according to the people of heaven but he found a place in paradise how he turned out to be a lucky man because an aerial messenger who was in charge of this artist made a mistake because of aerial messenger's mistake the artist or the wrong man found a place in workers paradise right so as i am reading the or discussing whatever we have read in the last period i hope you all are recalling it right so how did the wrong man spend his time in heaven so all the people it may be men women small children everyone was busy in doing one or other work in the paradise but this wrong man he didn't do anything even in heaven he didn't do anything when he was alive as well as when he went to the paradise that too he didn't do any useful work then what he did he launched in the streets absently very careless manner he sat or he was standing in in the streets of paradise he jostled because everyone was hurrying to do their work he came in between their way and sometimes he lay down in the green meadows and by the stream so one or other way he was a harder to the working men right okay so there was a mention of a silent torrent in the story why the torrent is silent in workers paradise because not only humans even non human things are also not wasting their energy on useless work it was not singing or it was not wasting its energy on making sound that's why even the streams are silent okay at first we witnessed a wrong man then we came to know about an aerial messenger then we encountered 
after a bustling girl, a busy girl. How was she? Was she just like the artist? Or was she just like the other people of heaven? Yes, she was just like the people of heaven. She was very busy. What was her work? Her work was to fill the pictures from the silent toilet. How was her movement? How she was rushing towards the stream? It was compared to the rapid movement of a hand on a strings of guitar. Yes? And what was her appear, appearance? She, her hair was carelessly done. Right? She has no time to she has no time to you know do her personal work. It may be makeup or any other personal work. Right? Then so one day not one day particularly every day her work was to fill the pictures from the silent torrent. And this wrong man had nothing to do, right? He was always standing here and there and was laying by the stream. So one day, two of them met. Yes? And she, as soon as she saw him, her heart was filled with pity. Because everyone was busy except this wrong man. That's why she asked him whether he wanted to do some work. Whether she wanted him to, you know, spare some work. And what he asked, what he asked to her. He asked one of her pictures. The pictures is not for drawing water from the silent torrent, but for what purpose? Let's find out in further paragraph. So at last, the girl, the busy girl, lent him a one of her pictures. Right? So what happens next? Let's find out. At last, she yielded and she handed him over one of her pictures. Right. Now, let's read on. The man started painting. He drew line after line. He put color after color. When he had completed his work, the girl held up the picture and stared at its sides. Her eyes puzzled. Yes, so as soon as she lent him one of her pictures, the man started painting. He was more into art than doing any work. Right? So he started drawing on the picture. He drew line after line. He put color after color. So at last he finished his artistic work on the picture. The girl held up the picture. When he completed his work, the girl took that picture and held it on her hand. She stared. She didn't look. See the word. Stay means gaze. Look very fixedly. She was very puzzled. Her eyes puzzled. She wasn't surprised. She was confused. See, there is a difference between being confused or being wondered. Right? Here, she was confused. Why do you think she was confused? Rather than be surprised because none of the people from the heaven did anything like that so far. Right? Whatever they did had one or other purpose because work. Right? It, there was some profitable research by doing all those work. But any drawing, pictures, does it have any profitable result? According to the people of heaven, there was nothing. 
So she asked. What she asked? Bro's drum. What does that mean? All those lines and colors. What is that? Purpose. As I said, whatever the people of heaven did had one or other goal or result. But out of any drawing, we cannot say there was any profitable result. Right? That's why she asked, what does these lines mean? What does these colors say? Yes? What is their purpose? What is their goal? What is the reason behind doing all this painting? The man, the man laughed. Right? One second. There was someone huh, in the lobby. Okay. So the man laughed by listening to her words. Nothing. A picture may have no meaning and serve no purpose. We paint. We do sculpturing. We do some other artistic things because it amuses us. Because it elevates our mind and soul. We do not practice or we do not do artistic things for making some money or to have some economical value. Right? It may have. Right? A picture may have some economical value or with some profit. It may not. Right? So he says, a picture may have no meaning and serve no purpose. It may have, may not have a purpose or meaning. See, a purpose means the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. For example, all of us are reading this particular story, right? Or the lessons which in our textbook because we have a purpose to clear the exam. So there was nothing such purpose behind painting. Okay. So after he handed over that picture, the girl went away with her picture. At home, away from prying eyes. So she made sure that nobody was looking at her. Prying means some curious eyes which were lot which were having lots of interest in our personal life. Right? From hiding from others, she held it in the light. She took that picture and held it in, her, in the light. Turned it round and round. She examined the whole clay picture and scanned the painting from all angles. She looked that clay picture from all the angles. At night, she moved out of bed, lighted a lamp and scanned it again yeah, in silence. She couldn't control her curiosity. Yes? Uh, as soon as she reached home, she examined the clay pictures, right? Even at night, when everyone was sleeping, she woke up. She lighted the lamp and scanned the clay picture again and again. For the first time in her life, she had seen something that had no meaning and no purpose at all. See this life. Whatever the people of heaven did had one or other goal or the purpose. For the first time in her life, she had seen something which had no meaning, no purpose at all. So she was brought up or she was among the people who was giving lots of importance on time and on work or on the works which gives profitable result. They were not giving any importance to art. Right? The people of heaven, they were 
thinking that this artistic works were useless, needless. That's why she thought, she saw it and thought that it had no meaning, no purpose. This is the first time she was encountered with one such incident in the heaven. Okay. When she set out for the torrent the next day, her hurrying feet were little less hurried than before. Right? So, when we were reading, when she was going to the torrent to fill her pictures, her movement was compared with the hands, which moves very fast on the strings of a guitar. That means her movement was very rapid. But here, her movement, her walking was slow. She was, in, she was not in hurry, like she was walking before. For a new sense seemed to have awakened in her. So there was something else which was awakened. She came to know some other purposes which she wasn't aware of. A new sense emerged in her. A sense that seemed to have no meaning, no purpose at all. A sense which has, which gives an arch a high importance, right? That sense emerged in her. She saw the painter standing by the torrent and asked in confusion, right? So she was again went to fill her picture and the man, wrong man, who was usually seen by the torrent, was standing there again. When she saw him, she asked him again, What do you want of me? What do you want? She asked him. What he said? Only some more word from your hands. See, he was not asking her for work. Instead, he was asking her for some other artistic work. Right? He wasn't really into doing some work. Only work related to art. So she asked, what kind of work would you like? What did he say? Whether he asked another picture? No. He asked her, let him make a color ribbon for your hair. He answered. He saw her hair, which was carelessly done. That's why he asked her, let me make you a beautiful, a colorful ribbon for your hair. Again she asked, what for? What is the purpose of making a colorful ribbon? Yes, what is the result? What profitable result if we, we get after making a colorful ribbon? Nothing. Right? There was nothing at all. So at last, ribbons were made. Bright with colors. The busy girl of workers' paradise had now to spend a lot of time. So, at last, after making colorful clay picture, now he had made a very bright colorful ribbon. The busy girl of workers paradise had now to spend a lot of time every day tying the colored ribbon around her hair. So, before she met the wrong man, she had no time to do her personal work. But now, she was spending too much time in self-care, in making her hair. The minutes slipped by. As she was busy in tying her ribbon, every minute just slipped by. 
unutilized. Unutilized means not used effectively. It was a waste. Much work was left unfinished. So she was busy in taking care of herself, taking care of her hair, looking at the clay picture. Because of all her attention was shifted from work to artistic work. Her work left unfinished. Right? So, after the girl met this wrong man, many things were changed in workers' paradise. Not only the girl was affected or affected by the wrong man's deeds, even other people of heaven get influenced by the artist's way of living in the workers' paradise. What happened in workers' paradise? In workers' paradise, work had of late begun to suffer. So everyone was busy before they met the artist. So after he came to the paradise, many will get influenced. Even the people of heaven, they started leaving their work. Their work life was got affected. Many persons who had been active before, now they are idle. We have already read that part where everyone, even men, women, children, everyone was busy in doing one or other work. They were in always in a rush. Right? So once they met this artist, what happened? They became idle just like him. They started wasting their precious time on useless things. Useless things are nothing but like painting, sculpturing, right? Those artistic works. They started following his path. So what happened next? The elders became anxious. Because of this change in routine, everyone, the elders of the heaven, they became anxious. They became worried. Right? A meeting was caught. Because of this disturbance, the elders thought that let's call upon a meeting. So, a meeting was caught. All agreed that such a state of affairs had so far been unknown in the history of the workers' paradise. So, never before this kind of incident had happened in the workers' paradise. This is the first time when the daily routine was disturbed. That's why they called upon a meeting. The alien messenger hurried in. He came rushing and bowed before the elders and made a confession. Confession is nothing but he made the revelation. Whatever the wrong deeds he did or the deeds which he was guilty of, he revealed it. What was it? It was his mistake, right? I brought a wrong man into this paradise. He confessed. It is all because of him. Because of the mistake made by the aerial messenger, everything was disturbed in the workers' paradise. I am the reason, said the aerial messenger. The man was sad. Whom they are talking about? They are talking about the wrong man. Okay? The man was called for. He ordered to be present in the meeting. As he came, the elders saw his fantastic dress, his quaint brushes, his paints, and they knew at once that he was not the right sort of worker's paradise. So as soon as he entered that hall, 
where the meeting was called by just by looking at him everyone was sure that he was the wrong man to be in workers paradise why everyone except this wrong man was wearing very common dress they were busy in their work that's why they didn't give any attention to their appearance right but this man was unlike other people he was wearing a fantastic dress his quaint brushes quaint this word we have already come across right fanciful attractive brushes his paints after looking his appearance everyone was sure that he was not the right man to be in workers paradise that's why the president of that workers paradise he stiffly said stiffly means in a very serious strong manner he said this is no place for the life of you you must leave so everyone in the workers paradise was supposed to indulge in one or other work but this wrong man was busy in doing artistic work that's why you are unfit to be in workers paradise that's why you must leave said the president of workers paradise what do you think whether the wrong man should leave workers paradise whether he was unfit to be in workers paradise the decision made by the president was correct let's see what this wrong man did okay the man sighed in relief and gathered up his brush and paints but as he was about to go the girl of the silent torrent came up tripping and cried wait a moment i shall come with you so when the president of the workers paradise declared that he was unfit to be in workers paradise so he must leave the man was very happy he sighed in relief he was relieved and he gathered he collected all his brushes and paints and he started walking towards the gate as he was about to go the girl the busy girl remember this busy girl of the silent torrent came up she came up to him tripping stumbling tripping means stumbling okay and she cried in a very sad manner she said wait a moment wait for a moment i shall come with you don't go alone let me accompany you take me along with you the elders gasped in surprise gasped the word gasp means catch one's breath with an open mouth they were confused they were surprised they were bewildered why she was stopping him and asking him to take her along with him they were surprised because never before never before had a thing like this happened in workers paradise a man who disturbed the routine of a routine of the workers paradise was the first time and a girl stopping a man and asking him to take her along this is as the first time which was happening in workers paradise a thing that had no meaning and no purpose at all see stopping a person and asking him to take her along that means she 
was attached to that person, right? She found some emotional connection with that person. In workers' paradise, there was no place, there was no importance for such feelings, such emotions, right? There was no purpose behind being emotional in workers' paradise. That's why everyone of the workers' paradise, they were in shock. They were surprised to see such emotion in workers' paradise. So this is the story of work a wrong man in workers' paradise. See, in the story, the narrator was talking about two perspectives, right? In first, there were two words actually. In the first perspective, everyone was giving lots of importance to work. They were valuing time. They were giving the emphasis on the result of a work. They were doing the works which had one or other goal or purpose, which was giving some profitable result, which was more economical, right? But in the second perspective, where the emphasis was given on art, which may or may not have purpose or goal, but they do think that art is something which one should follow. So these are two perspectives which we see in workers' parents. So in this, through this story, the narrator Rabindranath Tagore, he was mocking at the perspective wherein the art was not given enough importance. It was kind of a satire on the people or the on the perspective where art was not given enough importance. Okay, so this is the story, a wrong man in workers' paradise.